Uh, how much you want? 25, 25. 25. Very beautiful. I run! Yeah! <laughs> Usually, only few people show themselves as voluntarily as they do here when they commit a crime. On the contrary, those who do something illegal don't really want to get caught. In this video, however, we present eight criminals who were caught red-handed. We'll show you not only extremely stupid mishaps of burglars caught live on camera and safe robbers who better plan their crime a little better next time, but also fugitive criminals who were caught in a really incredibly crazy way. It's going to be highly entertaining, so stay tuned here at Wonderlane. Let's start on number 8 directly with a thief who at first seemed to have carried out a truly extremely spectacular crime with no personal consequences. We're talking about an American employee of the logistics company UPS who, a few years ago, stole an extremely valuable object from an airplane, namely, a diamond which was worth an incredible $160,000. What sounds extremely spectacular at first glance turned out to be a bit too big for the thief. When he wanted to make money out of the diamond, the thief thought it was just some cheap stone from a souvenir store. Accordingly, he didn't sell the gem for $160,000 but exchanged it for a small packet of cannabis, which was worth just $20. In the process, he also acted so stupidly that he was arrested by the police shortly thereafter for grand theft. All in all, this case was so curious that it even made it onto the American Evening News. Next we come to a criminal who not only wanted to steal a gigantic money safe, but had also made some pretty big plans for it. This man wanted to rob a gas station in the middle of the night and broke the bulletproof glass window with a very large rock. He then climbed out of the window through the hole to attach a rope to the safe, which he had tied to his pickup truck. At least, that's what he thought. In fact, when he was about to drive off after numerous preparations, the following happened. He had obviously forgotten to attach the rope to his truck and drove off without any loot. When he noticed this shortly afterwards, he came back to correct his mistake only to realize that he had parked too far away to tie the rope to the car. Since he was slowly but surely running out of time and the police were probably already on their way to the gas station, he made off as fast as he could. Next, we come to two burglars who can hardly be surpassed in stupidity. A few years ago, the following video was recorded in the USA. Two burglars tried to break into a small house, one of them standing guard and the other looking for a way to get through the window. After some time, he came up with the brilliant idea of simply throwing a stone at the window. However, this backfired badly. Instead of breaking the glass, the stone bounced off the window and knocked out his accomplice. Instead of helping him, the stone thrower continued to try to break into the house, only to knock himself unconscious with another stone. The next morning, both burglars were then discovered sleeping in the front yard of the house by the police. On number 5 we come to a criminal who was not directly caught in the act, but years after his crime felt so untouchable that he was caught in an insanely stupid way after all. It's about the best-selling Polish author K.R. Sistian Bala, who eliminated a person many years ago without anyone ever solving the case. In fact, Bala behaved so inconspicuously in the years following the crime that he not only became one of Poland's best-known writers, but also moved only in the highest social circles. Until one day he published a novel that ruined his life forever. In the novel, Bala described a scene in which the protagonist eliminated another person in a very inconspicuous way. This scene, however, had amazing similarities to the crime that Bala himself had committed years before, which is why it did not take long for the Polish police to take up the case again, which had actually already been closed. In the end, after closer investigation, it turned out that Bala was the only possible culprit in the case, which is why he was not only arrested, but is now serving a 25-year prison sentence. The story continues with a burglar whose urge to quickly check his social media presence turned into a violent fate. In 2011, a man named Trevor Jones broke into someone's home and stole numerous valuables. While he actually acted quite cleanly and left no fingerprints or other traces behind, he still made a mistake that makes you wonder how anyone could come up with such a stupid idea. Namely, Trevor Jones briefly logged into his Facebook account on the house's computer. When he then realized that he should perhaps leave the crime scene quickly after all, he forgot to log out again, which is why the police had an easy job with the subsequent investigation. Not only did they now know the burglar's name, but they were also able to calculate how far he was from the crime scene based on the login time. Only a few hours after the crime, Jones was then caught and convicted. On number 3 we come to another mishap, which is not only extremely embarrassing, but was also caught on running camera. This restaurant visitor wanted to fake a fall in order to receive compensation from the restaurant. To do so, he first threw a few ice cubes on the floor, only to lie down next to them and feign such great pain that he could sue the restaurant. When the case went to court, however, the restaurant had a pretty easy time of it, since the camera footage clearly proved that the man had only faked something to everyone. Next we come to a bicycle thief who was extremely stupid in his attempted theft of a real top bike. In fact, this young man, who was on a bike himself, 
tried to steal a very expensive bike from the back of a moving car. But since the car was moving much faster than the thief, he had to wait again and again until the next traffic light, only to be able to screw a little on the bracket. After numerous kilometers of unsuccessful chase, it came as it had to come. In the end, the thief not only went home empty-handed, he also lost his own bike and disgraced himself in front of all the traffic. In the grand finale, we now come to a couple who had probably overestimated themselves somewhat in an attempted credit card fraud. Some time ago, these two wanted to buy a beverage king with a fake credit card. However, the store owner was suspicious, so he immediately informed the local police. When the police arrived, the perpetrators came up with the groundbreaking idea of leaving the store through the back door. After a little cat and mouse chase through the store, the girlfriend then made it to the store's warehouse. But there was no other escape route there, so she tried to make a run for it through the ventilation system in the ceiling. However, this attempt ended in maximum failure when she suddenly found herself in the arms of the police on the store floor. So this escape attempt ended not only very painfully but also in the precinct of the local police station. And that's it for our video and 8 stupid criminals who were caught red-handed in a curious way. Write us in the comments which action you found particularly crass. Otherwise, like this video if you enjoyed it, subscribe to Wonderlane for more cool videos and we'll see you next time here at Wonderlane.